Welcome back, spooky cuties, or welcome to my fabulously low-budget channel. Tis I, your ghost host with the most, Patricia Adson. Hooray! And today I am bringing you, as uh, you probably saw and were excited for as well, even more Lord of the Rings beans. Because we will never stop taking those hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> I fucking love memes. I am so glad that so many of you have been enjoying <laughs> this spooky, geeky meme time. Fun fact, nearly uh, every goth I've ever met, or at least in the subculture that I know, <laughs> we are all just spooky nerds. So this has been wonderfully fun for me. And of course, <laughs> who doesn't want even more Lord of the Rings meme time? I mean, come on. It's fucking Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and on that note, let's get started. <laughs> My lord, Gandalf the Grey is coming. He is not welcome. <laughs> get, but, uh, when I saw that, I was like, dude, that is so fucking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Sud Spongebob. Dr. Patrick. <laughs> Fucking dream of words. So perfect. Ah, uh, what a gorgeous meme. Mm, best start ever. I love that meme so much. <laughs> uh, you, you cannot argue the perfection of that meme. <laughs> when you're two films into an extended edition marathon, and your friend wants to call it a night? Authority is not given to you to deny the return of the king. But I, I will never understand how some people will be like, oh my God, 13 hours is such a long time. I was like, dude, I, I can watch an entire season of Game of Thrones in a single day while working full time. <laughs> Not while uh, also doing online content, but I can work full time and still manage to watch a full season of a show in a day. It is not easy, but it's not for the week. 100% worth it. You want to watch something? You make fucking time. You find a way. It will always find a way. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Pippin Christmas. <laughs> Poor Pippin. <laughs> uh, fun fact, I named my dickhead cat Peregrine, like after Peregrine took, because he was this tiny little adorable kitten. And the entire first day I had him, we watched the entire trilogy. Did we watch The Hobbit that day? We might have, but we definitely watched the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy with him just in my sweater, cuddled up to me, the tiniest, cutest little kitten, and now he is a great big gigantic dickhead. But fool of a took still applies, so at least we are looking on the bright side. <laughs> Alright, keep the reem secret, I'll be right back. Frodo for the next 17 years just... <laughs> That is one thing that the films left out that I know technically is a bit of a minor detail, but the fact that at the beginning it's talking about it being Bilbo's 11th, 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 spelling, <laughs> 11th birthday, and they left out from the films that it's Frodo's birthday, and it's an important one because now he's a man. They did him dirty. They left out his birthday. They left out the fact that Gandalf didn't just ride off, get some info, and come right back. 17 years? This poor guy was just waiting, like, hmm, wonder if he's coming back for that ring. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I think that's a detail that would have been so minor, so easily put in. Oh, come on. Come on. It's his birthday, too. They could have added the name to the banner. And they could have fucking just made a mention of 
Oh, damn, it's been 17 years, Gandalf. How have you been? Like, so easy. Yes, I'm nitpicking. I'm nitpicking, Peter Jackson. But it was his birthday, too. How could you? How could you leave out his birthday? <laughs> Me to almost to every toothpaste tube. Just, ah! <laughs> Poor Deagle. <laughs> oh, he just happens to find the ring and then his best friend goes whoop de woo and gibby <laughs> every fucking time man whenever i invite friends to like to come over and they don't want to watch lord of the rings go home <laughs> i mean of course not but it's like what do you want to talk about what about what about star wars do you want to watch a show do you want to watch cartoons it's like no nah, i don't have that stuff it's like what do you like do you like horror? Hey, so maybe we watch some horror. Uh, that's why, like, I have had, like, normal friends that aren't alternative or geeky weirdos, but sometimes it's just hard. It's like trying to find a middle ground or something to talk about, something to hang out about. Like, thankfully, one of my close friends, who will eventually be on here as we have some thrifting plans, uh, one thing that drew us together is one, she's always loved skulls and dead things and whatnot, but we both absolutely adore drag queens. So at least that was some common ground talking about and loving drag queens. So that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Me, age 14, reading Tolkien. Hobbits are considered children until age 30? Wow. Me, age 25. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Me, age 34. You know, uh, the hobbits might actually be rushing it a bit. <laughs> I'm 27, and I still feel <laughs> like I'm 20. <clears throat> Every year I get closer to 30, I'm like, uh, should I know what I'm doing now? <laughs> Although, with the online work, some of my friends have laughed at me, but no one has helped me as I've said that I need to find an actual accountant. <laughs> and everyone gets a giggle, because, like, you know, as you know, accountant is another word for... on TikTok, and it's like, yeah, guys, it's funny, but I need an accountant. <laughs> help. <laughs> if anyone dares to call you a slut tell them and i still won't fuck you and blow a kiss as you saunter away because that's the closest they're ever gonna get to your magnificence oh smog cheapest and greatest of calamities <laughs> random grape how do you say smog as for example you would pronounce it augmented, not augmented. So why would you call Smog, whose name makes sense, just Smog, Smaug? So tell me, what do you say? Do you say Smog? Or do you defile my ears and say Smaug? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if I like you or not. <laughs> There is still hope. Go to horny jail. <laughs> I need an outtake of <laughs> Hugo Weaving saying that. Go to horny jail. <laughs> beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now this one is an emotional one. So we all know how Viggo Mortensen broke his toe while filming that scene. But did you know that Faramir broke his father's heart by not being Boromir? <laughs> Poor Faramir. He tried so hard and he made such a tough decision for the greater good. And his father didn't even care until he thought he was dead. That heart 
I hurt my fair mirror. <laughs> and then to end this uh, next installment of our Lord of the Rings memes, let's go home and watch the Lord of the Rings Extended Editions. What? Extended Editions? Dude, they're already long enough, bro. <laughs> the only thing better than Andy Serkis' performance in CGI rendering is watching him doing the acting in the suit. <laughs> Best ever. <laughs> Best way to have a laugh. And, you know, some days we desperately need one. So on that note, my spooky cuties, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our installment of Lord of the Rings memes. Which meme was your favorite? And again, are you my friend or are you my foe? Do you say small or do you say smog? <laughs> well, anyways, my spooky cuties. <laughs> You can, of course, subscribe if you want to hang out and watch more Lord of the Rings memes. Watch. Look at. Watch. Watch. Look at with me Lord of the Rings memes. And eventually, as soon as I get things more tidied up in here, I will eventually show my Lord of the Rings collection because I have a shit ton. I need to show my taxidermy collection, too. And other st I have a lot of stuff to get through. But when I do my Lord of the Rings one, I want to do my Lord of the Rings costume plus the uh, back content to go with it, so it's coming <laughs> it will happen oh and my wizard beard i have a bunch of geeky plans coming all i have to do is tear myself away from watching geeky things so that i can create them for you <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed i hope you uh say smog <laughs> I know it's a weird nitpick, but ooh, it drives me nuts. <laughs> As my lovers, I hope you have a wonderful, spooktastic day. Enjoy your October. Remember to stay warm. And make sure you go on an adventure today. <laughs> Enjoy your second breakfast. <laughs>